Guide to Music Theory. I'm Mark DeYoung. Today we are looking at some specific ways to get you started playing bass lines on your instrument. While this exploration will have immediate benefits for musicians looking to expand their improvisation skills, uh, it will also assist your development when it comes to a sense of rhythm or time feel, chord structure, and awareness of song forms. One helpful prerequisite is awareness of the basic 12 bar blues structure. I will review the chords, but if this is brand new for you, please take some time to familiarize yourself a bit with the 12 bar blues. And there are lots of resources available to you to explore on this topic. For our purposes today, we will use the following 12 bar blues structure. One, four, one, one, four, four, one, one, five, four, one, five. Next, we're going to start with the roots of the chords. In concert B-flat, let's play through the roots of each chord through the 12-bar blues. I'll hold each note for four beats. If you need to use the music first, that's okay. But as soon as possible, you want to be able to generate the notes without any sheet music. Here are the roots of a 12-bar blues in concert B-flat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next, we're going to approach each of those roots by a half step below. We will place the half step approach on beat four of the bar before the root. I'll demonstrate so that you know what I'm talking about. Note that the first note I play is a pickup to the 12 bar blues. It is a pickup on beat four of the bar before. One, two, three. <laughs> on beat three of the 12th bar of the 12 bar blues. Next, we are gonna approach each root by a half step above the root. As before, we will place the half step approach on beat four of the bar before the root. I'm gonna demonstrate. Notice that the first note again is a pickup to the 12 bar form. One, two, one, two, three. probably noticed that you can very clearly hear the chord structure of the blues just by emphasizing the root of each chord. Let's change the rhythm of what you are playing and just play a quarter note on beat one, resting for two beats and then playing the half step approach on beat four leading to the root of the next bar. Notice that the sound of the blues structure remains intact even if we're not even playing anything on beats two and three. One, two, three. To do 
dig a little deeper on the half-step approach idea to the root, let's alternate back and forth between a half-step above and a half-step below the root. This is a little bit challenging, and it might be helpful for you to write it out first. If it, you have any challenge keeping track of the approach tones in the context of the 12 bar blues. The long-term goal is to move towards memorizing it or be able to do it without any music on the page. I will start with a half note below and then alternate through the blues going half step below, half step above. One, two, a one, two. <laughs> Next, we are going to play the major triad built on each root of the chord. All of the triads are major triads. For now, we will omit the approach note and just outline the triads of each chord. This might take a little time for horn players since we can't see our hands as they play, so we have to imagine the notes as we play them. This is part of the reason why pianists, guitarists, and bassists tend to have a bit of an advantage since they can view their hands as they play. Before playing the triads, try saying them. If you don't really know the triads yet, grab some paper and a pencil and write them out. The idea is to be able to generate these triads without a visual aid. Again, this will take a little bit of practice, but if you give it some time, it won't take you very long. Let's play the triads through the 12 bar blues. One, two, three. <laughs> Next, we're going to play the triads, but also include a chromatic approach note. Let's start with the chromatic approach note from below the root. This will give us a total of four notes per bar. So assuming we're in 4-4 time, every beat will be filled by a note. Again, things to pay attention to are your sense of time, playing with a good tone, and accurately outlining each major triad through the entire 12 bar form. Here are the triads with a chromatic approach note from below the root, starting on beat four of the pickup bar to the 12 bar blues. One, two. <laughs> Thank you.